Winning more fights in Fortnite is super simple, and it's actually not just all about mechanics. You need to be using these fundamental tips if you want to succeed at the game. These are the things that pros do which allow them to dominate with aggression and consistently win fights. Now before we get into the in-game scenarios, the first thing you guys are going to want to consider is turning off auto confirm edits. It is 100% possible to play with this setting on, but there are three main reasons why pros have this setting turned off. Now the first reason is when you want to make peaks such as this one right here, when you go to hide behind this wall, you're forced to look up here so you don't select these tiles on accident as you guys can see i just turned on auto confirm edits and now when i try and make this right hand corner edit and i try to hide behind this wall to protect myself from the opponent it selects all these tiles here so i'm forced to keep my crosser up there and that's just bad crosser placement so having this setting off definitely makes you use your brain a little bit more and allows you to take way better peaks pro players don't really want to have super fast edits that's not their goal at the game they'd rather slow down their gameplay and think smarter to make a not dumb edit and personally i think my edits are pretty fast for a non confirm for meta on release player and anything faster is just unnecessary just a quick heads up this video is packed with tons of information and if you're looking to go pro or even just improve your game these videos do take a lot of time to make so i would appreciate a lot if you guys could take two seconds to leave a like the next thing you need to know to win fights is peaks and how to actually use them the two main basic peaks that you're going to be using are this top right hand corner peak and also just the basic window edit peak. There are many other peaks in the game like these two, but the ones that I just showed you are the most basic and effective ones because they're super easy to set up and very protective. Now the mistake that a lot of players make is when they go to attack a box, they just take the wall and then they make a wide open edit. If you watch pro gameplay, the only time they ever make a wide open edit on their opponent is if they have a very good health advantage. It's very important to remember that this right here is a 50-50 almost every single time. Now these peaks are not just for taking someone's wall. You need to be using these peaks before you even take their wall. Unless I'm trying to exploit in someone's box, I almost never come up to the wall and just start pickaxing it like this. Your opponent can easily read that you're doing that and they're easily just going to edit on you. Instead, you need to learn how to set up to attack someone's wall properly. Now the most efficient way to do this is by diagonal box fighting you may have heard of this term before but it's important to go over it and study it again and again because that's how you really get it down pat all diagonal box fighting is instead of attacking someone's wall straight on like this you're just coming at it from an angle what you can do is create your own box like this and then use this right hand corner peak to easily take their wall you can also always edit it like this and if you pickaxe your wall your enemy cannot see you at all from this angle over here so it's a very good peak there are so many options from this position because you can also go up and start attacking their wall like this. And say if your opponent tries to get out the back, all you have to do is go like this and you can also try and get peace control on them from above. Now if you attack on the left side, you just have to be very careful because you are putting yourself in a disadvantage. Even if you hug this wall right here, your opponent can see you, but you cannot see them. Pros are super good at taking advantage of these peaks and using them on the move. Next time you get into a fight, you need to remember this concept and try and utilize it to the best of your ability. Also, when you're attacking someone's box, you need to make sure that you're not just trying to attack one wall. If I keep trying to attack just this wall right here and the opponent's very defensive, he's just going to either go at the back or continue to hold the wall. Now to stop players from escaping and playing defensively, all you need to do is set more traps. So instead of just attacking this one wall right here, I'm going to set up a box right here so then this opponent now cannot go to this direction. If I see my opponent place a ramp and is going to expand out backwards, I instantly jump out to here and try and take any walls or anything that I can before my opponent gets that spot. And if you're struggling to take the wall, you just need to get more walls beat. Because if you keep on hitting different walls on your opponent's box, they're never going to know which wall you're going to hit, and then that's an easy wall take for you. Almost every single time, you'll be able to get the wall. Another concept that you guys need to know about is pickaxe swinging. So when you're attacking someone's wall, some people like to pickaxe swing, some people like to shoot it and then use their shotgun from a range. But no matter what you do, eventually you'll start getting players who are super good. And as soon as you go up to attack their wall, when you swing on the second time, they're just going to open up the wall and pump you right in the mouth. So that's why you'll almost never see pros double swing on someone's wall unless they're super low. It's safer to just swing once and pull out your shotgun and be ready to shoot the player if they make an edit. And then you can also place a ramp in their box and stop them from shooting you. It gets really bad to the point where as soon as you go up to pull out your pickaxe the players will edit on you because they're that fast at reacting so this is where a pickaxe baiting comes into place like if you pull out your axe and pull out your shotgun right away there's a pretty high chance that your opponent will edit on you if you swing on your opponent's wall and they make an edit on you then you need to be able to shoot and then also defend yourself right after a lot of people will shoot and then just try and smg spam in and that works sometimes but it's not very safe if you notice that they have a cone in their box then you need to be far enough back that where you can place a ramp or at least out to the side where you can shoot and then reset this wall right here 
You need to know almost all of your enemy's options so you can stop them before they happen. The last thing I'm going to go ahead and talk about is pre-firing. Pre-firing is very important for controlling your fights and it also is a great counter against people who love to SMG spam. Especially if you're just going against players who are better than you and love to aggress you, knowing how to pre-fire is very important. I highly suggest that you guys hop into this map and work on your pre-fires. What you can do in these positions is when you break the wall, only hit it once and then on the second hit, you can instantly pull out your map and then your opponent will think that you're breaking the wall because you cancelled your pickaxe swing. So it still makes the sound that you're hitting the wall even though you're not actually dealing any damage to it now your opponent will shoot the wall thinking that you broke it already and you can take their wall and easily peace control them so that's it for the video guys i hope that this was helpful if you enjoyed please don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and as always thanks for watching